Titus, Titus 3. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers, to obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, to speak evil of no man, to be no brawlers but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of Yahuwah, our Savior, toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Ruach HaKadosh, which he shed on us abundantly, through Yahusha HaMashiach, our Savior. That being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that you affirm constantly, that they which have believed in Yahuwah might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. But, Avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the scribes, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sins, being condemned of himself. When I shall send Artemis unto you, or Tychius, be diligent to come unto me to Nicopolis, for I have determined there to winter. Bring Zenas the lawyer and Apollos on their journey diligently, that nothing be wanting unto them. And let ours also learn to maintain good works, for necessity, rather necessary uses, that they be not unfruitful. All that are with me salute you. Greet them that love us in the belief. Grace be with you all. Amen.